guys welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be doing a base tutorial basically what I do every day well not every day because I don't wear makeup every day but any day that I wear makeup this is what I do and the reason I'm doing a tutorial on it is because it's a little weird I do my concealer before my foundation <laughs> and you may be like okay like spot concealing no 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 full-on concealer before foundation and i promise once you do it it will change your entire life it is so much better than putting your foundation on and then concealer for you to see that you're just gonna have to keep on watching thank you so much for tuning into this video if you just clicked on it go ahead and subscribe because a lot of the people that watch my videos are not subscribed so go ahead and click that button because I want to see you back here I want to interact with you I want to talk to you so yeah let's get into this video <sighs> okay sorry y'all I was really really thirsty so for all my base products I use the born this way line and I can officially promote it now because of the fact that Jackie extended the shade range because before I would have never promoted that shade range it was it was white with a dabble of one mahogany shade and they literally called it mahogany but now they have improved they have given themselves a little bit of a spice a little bit of culture so you know we can support it so for this technique I really like to use a beauty sponge I feel like it gives me the best finish because I really like a dewy finish so we're gonna prime with the Lancome Tent E Dull blur and go stick and y'all know I love this primer I only use it in my porous areas so right here boop, 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 boop. okay we're just gonna normally apply it like we would if we were applying it after foundation This is a highlight shade for me once I put like the foundation on. So if it doesn't pick up that way, sorry. Now I'm gonna put it on my chin. I love a good chin highlight with concealer. My Cupid's bow right here around my nostrils because I get really red there and down the bridge of my nose because I don't contour my nose I don't I don't know I've never really done that don't kill me I know everyone loves a good nose contour not this girl I love it on other people I just don't really find it I don't really care to fix it like I'm too lazy to just spend all that time learning how to contour my nose I just maybe I will someday but not today now that you look like you just hopped out of an undone coloring page um this is good and now we're gonna take our born this way foundation and we're gonna pick that up on our sponge and we're going to place that everywhere else we didn't put concealer and basically start meshing them together we want the two shades of the concealer and the foundation to blend together Yes, we're still keeping the highlight and everything and the foundation shade is being used in the places we didn't put the highlight, but it will all like just mesh together and look so beautiful and not be like an excessive amount of product, which is why I like this technique so much. So you see how the skin still has like a youthful glow and do about it? That is what I love about this trick. It still keeps everything fresh and Using the sponge also really helps with that because it picks up excess product. Now, as I said, if you like to cake on, and not in a bad way, if you like to cake on your foundation and just have no, like, natural looking skin pulling through, then don't do this. And we're going to take the Huda Beauty Easy Bake Powder in Pound Cake, I think. 
I love this shade to highlight with. And I'm going to put a little on my nose because I do get a little oily there. So I'm just going to go ahead and bronze. Y'all, when is Benefit going to come out with their darker hula shades? That's what I want to know. So I can actually use it. Because I was just looking at it the other day. I remember I won a contest or something and they sent me their hula bronzer. But I was like, this is not going to work for me. And I just gave it to my friend the other day. And I was like, bro, I want to be able to see what it's all about. Like, I want to know if hula is really that girl. Like, I've heard the formula is so good, but I can't try it. Okay, guys. Um, so I popped on lashes and under eye shadow because I realized I looked insane and I didn't have any of that on. After I put on foundation and setting powder and stuff, I really like to spray in between each step. So I already applied bronzer, but now I'm going to spray again, which is going to prep for the highlights. This ensures that everything looks skin-like. It looks like... It's all just meshed together and natural as possible. I like to focus my highlight right here because I feel like if it's brought up too high, it can look like a little bit textured. Like I have some texture up here and right here and I just don't like to emphasize that. And so now we're on to our final step of the base and that is blush. And I'm going to use the Kylie Cosmetics crush blush from her valentine's day collection i love the blush formula i feel like it lasts a really long time because i wore this i think a couple days ago and i put it on at about i would say eight in the morning and then i got home at about four and it was still like visible and if you know blush you know it fades so quickly but that could also be the setting spray that i use i'm not sure but regardless something is right all right so i'm gonna spray my face with the blue marble sealer spray i love it 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 just makes everything stay on until you want to take it off what was i doing F fanning my face with my hands <sighs> broke absolutely not i'm just kidding y'all <laughs> this was like five bucks <laughs> Okay guys, and the final step that I'm going to do for this video is I'm going to pop on a red liquid lipstick and today I'm using the Morphe liquid lipstick in Morphe and um, the Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in Bow. Okay guys, that is it for today's video. So I hope you enjoyed it and let me know if you guys do this method down in the comments and if you like it, let me know. If you don't, let me know. Because I always love to hear your feedback regardless of if it's negative or positive. Just be nice on how you deliver the comment. See you in the next one. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And especially, especially, don't forget to hit that notification bell. Because if not, how will you know when I upload? You'll just manually come to my YouTube page? No, no, no. You have to hit the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload. Because what else is the point of the bell? Bye, guys.